Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install glances on an existing Proxmox LXC. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over a home lab, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So I'm going to be installing glances on an existing LXC. Uh, I'm going to be using the Proxmox V helper scripts, and it was created by Tech, uh, and he had a, a he passed away. So the community took it over. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the search and type uh, glances. And then you'll see it's miscellaneous right here. You'll go into it and you can see Glances is an open source system cr cross-platform monitoring tool. Allows real-time monitoring for various aspects of your system, such as CPU, memory, disk, network, usage, ETC. Um, so you can come down here and you can uh, co copy this command. But I'm going to go over in the next section uh, what actually this command does. So stay tuned for that. So now I'm going to start on the community scripts and then Proxmox VE. So I'm going to go over here to search and type glances. And then you'll see it in miscellaneous glances.sh right here. You click it. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll, you'll, you'll see the first of what we'll see when we run the script in the LXC is it'll give you choices on installing in the existing LXC or uninstalling if you already have it installed or nothing uh uh, if you, you don't pick anything. So, um, now with the functions that will run, um, they set a spinner and then a message info right here, message OK, and then uh, this is the meat of the uh, the script, the install right here. So, um, now the header info function, the while loop, so it's going to uh, start this loop to say true, and then it's always going to run, and it's going to ask you, and this will install app on hostname, proceed with Y or N for no. So a Y for yes and N for no. And then whatever you pick with this, it's going to run the case. So it's going to say, did the user pick Y uh or did they pick no? Uh, if, the, if the user picked Y for yes, it's going to break the loop. And then it's going to continue with the function. And if the user picked uh, in for no, it's going to exit this function and it's not going to run any of the rest of the function. So now the header info right here, and then it's going to set uh, this read uh, to ask the user if they want to uh, use verbo uh, verbose mode. So that means that it's going to actually show more info when it's installing. So, so you can say uh, Y for yes or N for no. Um, so now it's going to say installing app. It's going to remove uh, Python 3 uh, externally managed. Then it's going to come down here and download this script off the uh, Glances auto install repo and in install.sh. Um, so now once it installs that, uh, once it installs glances, it's going to come down here and cat out a dot service. So it's going to run, uh, the cat and then it's going to put that info inside of ETC system D, uh, system glances dot service. So once that file is created, it's going to come down here and say system enable and then a glances dot service. And then it's going to say message OK, installed app on host name. And then it's going to echo out app should be reachable by going to the following URL. So the IP and port. And then you can go to this and you should have the glances UI. So now if you decide you don't want this on your LXC at all, you can always remove it by running this exact script again inside of the LXC console. So this uninstall command, if you put uh, the uninstall right here, uh, if you pick the choice of uninstall, then it'll run this function right here. So header info, message info, it's going to be uninstalling the app. And then um, system disable, 
uh, it's going to disable the actual glances.service. Uh, so now it's going to come down here and bash. It's going to get it from the glances auto install again. And then it's going to run the un uninstall.sh. Once it's done with that, it's going to remove the glances.service file that we created in this cat when we installed it. So now once that's done, it's going to say message OK, uninstalled, message OK, completed successfully. So whenever you uh, look at the uh, at scripts in here, always make sure that the script didn't change or anything like that before you install it or run any script. Um, so now that we've looked over it, we're going to go ahead and install it on our LXC. So now I'm going to go ahead and start on Proxmox via helper scripts, and then I'm going to search and type glances, and then go, go to it, and then you'll see how to use right here, and I'm going to come down here and copy this right here. And once you do that, you're going to go over to your Proxmox. So now I'm going to start on my Proxmox, and I'm going to go to my LXC, and then console, and then now we're in the console. So I'm going to paste in the command that I copied from helper scripts. And now once you do that, you're going to press uh, a return or enter. So now this is the choices. So you can select an option. So install or uh, go down with the arrow keys and you can say uninstall. Um, so I'm going to say install and then press return or enter. So now this will install glances on cost OS. So I'm going to say Y for yes. And then you can also turn on verbose mode if you'd like. So I'm going to say yes. So now you can see it's doing all the install now. So now it's installed glances on cost OS. So you can go to this URL right here. So I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to the UI. So now I'm going to go to this IP and port. So now you see that you, you get a lot of information. So uh, you get the CPU, uh, the memory, the load, uh, networks, uh, TCP connections, and then disk IO, and then the file system, sensors. You can also see the task over here, and you can see the CPU, the memory of all the uh, different ser uh, services that are running. Um, you can scroll down. To, uh, with them too. Um, you can see the CPU and the memory and the swap up here as well. And you can see the uptime and the date and time. Um, so that's a little bit about the Glances UI. So now what if you wanted to just uninstall this and get it off your system? So you can go back up and you can get to the former command. So I'm going to say return or enter. And then select an option. I'm going to go down to uninstall and then return or enter. So now it's uninstalling glances and it's going to ask you each step. So it's going to ask you if you want to uninstall these. So I'm going to say yes. And then successfully uninstalled setup tools. So you can see that uh, found existing installation of glances and it shows you what it's going to remove. So I'm going to say why for yes. And then now it says successfully uninstalled glances. Um, so uninstall glances and uninstall glances and completed successfully. So if you go over to the UI, you shouldn't see glances and it should be completely uninstalled. So now once you've successfully uninstalled it, it should say disconnected from cost OS up here or whatever your host name is. So, um, if we go ahead and re refresh the page, we should see refuse to connect. So it's completely uninstalled. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting glances running on existing Proxmox LXC. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.